hi guys welcome back to my channel um so if you guys want a personal reading you can follow me on instagram that information is below in the description box and um message me there all right so the first card out we have is the four of or four of swords it is in the reverse so some of you are getting back with somebody who you were um, broken up from and I feel like this is causing you a lot of relief like you're really relieved about this to be like talking to them again because um, it could have been really like uh, stressful when you were apart. Uh oh, but we do have the Three of Swords, so someone could have been, like, talking to somebody else here. This is a third party, um, and you may not know about this yet. We have the King of Cups in the reverse, so that's the reason why. Or I'm getting the message that if that does not apply to you, if you recently started talking to somebody again, the thing that you don't know is that, um, yeah, when they were away from you, they were talking to somebody else or if this hasn't happened yet already the reason that you haven't heard from this person now is that they are talking to somebody else um this could be a pisces cancer or scorpio we have the king of cups in the reverse so this person could be coming off very like cold and um like you're wondering why they're why you're not talking to them why you're not hearing from them yeah, this person unfortunately like has their attention elsewhere. And um, with the Nine of Cups in the reverse, this could feel like, and the, um, the Nine of Swords, this could be very stressful for you. I get the feeling that you guys like this person very much and you want to be with them very much. So this is very like, you're really stressed out. You're, you can't stop thinking about this person. And um, you may not be like getting what you want here with the nine of cups. You could in the reverse. You could be afraid that you won't get your wish when it comes to them. Like your wish is not coming true. Like maybe you wish to be with this person, but it's not happening or it's not working out at this time. But the good thing is, is that we do have the justice card. That's Libra energy. We have the fool card. This is Aries. So. There is something happening, like, I don't know what this is, but the right thing in the end is going to happen with the Justice card. And the Fool card is all about a new beginning. So I don't know what that means, if it's with the same person or not, but it could be for different for all of you. For some of you, they could be coming back to you. Um, and then for others of you, it could be that, like... Uh, with someone else maybe who does right by you the justice card we have um, queen of pentacles that's earth sign energy so capricorn taurus or virgo virgo we have the three of pentacles this is um putting in the effort and someone who so it could be an earth sign that you end up um you end up seeing or dating that is like the new person maybe once you like leave this other person because you find out about someone else. That could be a storyline that's happening here. Um, the other storyline could be that. But there's something happens and I think this person might come back. This person from the past that you're leaving behind. Because we have the Two of Wands in the reverse and the Two of Pentacles here. Um, two of Pentacles is like somebody juggling someone making a decision. They're going back and forth trying to decide. They could be trying to decide between two different partners, like who to, which one they want to be with. So this could be somebody who's not sure or has multiple options. Um, I'm, I feel like they feel like they don't want to miss out on either one with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Um, let's see. So I feel like they try to see, um, who is putting in more effort with the Three of Pentacles. Um, but I also feel like there's things that they like about each person equally and maybe things that they 
don't like equally so it's it's really really hard to tell because it's super balanced with the, those two cards like that and they also don't want to lose either option <laughs> um, so this could go like so many different ways so if this if I'm reading this one way as this person who like I said you broke up from but th you found out they were talking to someone else and then they either come back to you and you could have someone else or this could be how they feel about you and the person that they were with. So unfortunately, when they came back to you, that person didn't go away. They're still here. They're still in the picture. So, um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to how this is going to play out, but let's see. I just feel like there's a lot of confusion, like someone doesn't know what they want. So I don't think that there's going to be a decision made anytime soon. Uh-oh, as soon as I say that, okay, maybe not. Queen of Cups. This is crazy. Okay, so earlier we had the King of Cups, right? But he's in the reverse. So I do feel like this is him being out of touch with his emotions. He's not connected emotionally. Or um, I can also read that too as like, falling out of love with somebody um and then now we have two different queens okay so this is kind of getting confusing but we do have the queen of pentacles here so that's earth sign and energy then we have the queen of cups but she came out with the ace of pentacles so this is definitely a brand new offer coming in a commitment this definitely means whoever this is the queen of cups again that's water sign energy pisces cancer or scorpio this person is getting chosen. That's the one that they're going to commit to. That's the one that they want to be with. With the Ace of Pentacles coming out like that. Um, but And also notice King of Cups and Queen of Cups. Those are the same element. So they match. So these two could be like soulmates. You know? Because they're both cups. Both water energy. Um, let's see. What else? King of Swords, so um, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, so it looks like whoever, so, so court cards like kings and queens, they can be people, but they can also represent just energy, and then they can also just represent like um, the energy of that person coming through, so like for instance, this King of Swords could be this um, king of cups like they could be the same person but this is um, them in two different times in two different emotions two different circumstances whatever but this could be like so if he's disconnected emotionally here you know king of swords can represent um, like using logic or making a head over a heart decision so maybe like this decision with the Ace of Pentacles with the with the Queen of Cups. Again, these are coming out together. So this card could mean like this was their decision that they made to commit to this Queen of Cups here. So that's like um, King of Swords energy is like being sure about that decision as well. Being at peace with that decision feeling like you made the right decision. Um, King of Swords can also represent law enforcement. But yeah, so we have the Five of Swords showing up in the reverse. Just as I said, at peace. That's what that is. There's no con conflicted, there's no conflicted feelings about this decision. So this person is sh like completely sure and there's no doubts. Um... And they're not going to argue or fight about it, about the decision that they made. So whether that is means like people who don't agree with it, right? So nine of pentacles in the reverse. No longer being alone. No longer feeling single. No longer... Um, having that feeling of needing to be on your own, you know, like some people, I feel like even nowadays, especially it's like you, you get comfortable with being alone and then you almost like being alone 
more than being in a relationship. So that's what this card is. Like, now it's that, um, you, now you like, you no longer have that feeling. Now it's more, you're more happy with being in a connection. It finally becomes worth it. So, you know, some people say, like, if you're in an unhealthy relationship or an unhealthy connection, which that could have been what this was. Or for some of you, this could be a different person. This could be an ex, right? The King of Cups in reverse. It didn't work out. They broke your heart with the Three of Swords. So then you found someone better who's, you know, worthy of you, worth your time. You know, that's this person here. And that's working out for the better. And you guys won't be arguing or fighting with the Five of Swords in the reverse. There's no arguments. And you no longer have that feeling of being alone or wanting to be alone, right? It finally becomes more worthwhile to be with someone else over being alone, over being with, um, by yourself. Because sometimes you can find this sort of peace when you're by yourself. When you compare it to being in a relationship, you know, you're like, oh my god, I like being alone, it's better, because my relationship with my ex was so toxic, it was so bad, that I actually like being alone better, you know, but then now this coming in, whatever this is meant to be, this relationship here, it's finally better to not be alone, it's finally worth it, so, yeah, that's awesome. But with the overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. So you just have to be patient. You have to be patient. You have to be willing to do what it takes. Like, put in the time and the work to, you know, get rid of these people like this that are going to hurt you or break your heart or cheat on you. That's that energy. You're going to have to be strong. You're going to have to tough it out. Be alone for a while. Um, meditate with your thoughts and... Figure out who you are and what you want and the type of partner that you really want that you're really looking for, you know. You got to be really, like, specific about that and get sure about that in order for that to come in to your life, you know. So, anyways, that's the messages I have for you guys. Please like the video. Please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.